After 10 years of being one of Taylor Swift's closest pals, girl star Lena Dunham opens up about why she's protective of their friendship. Lena, who has been close with the megastar since 2012, tells The New Yorker in an interview published July 9th of Taylor, I will say that she's everything that you would want her to be. She's kind, she's devoted, she's introspective, she's emotional, she's funny as f While Lena is happy to sing Taylor's praises, she also sets boundaries with how much she'll discuss telling the outlet she's protective of Taylor in every single way, and notes that the singer's very public life should mean Taylor's allowed to keep her privacy. Lena explains, I guess my feeling sometimes is, isn't she giving us enough, guys? And while Lena, who is married to Louise Farber, has been a part of Taylor's inner circle for over a decade, her love for Taylor and her music goes even further. She says, even since before Taylor and I were friends, I just always had felt such a deep connection to her music. I've seen every tour she's ever done. Lena adds, I love seeing a woman who's not yet 40 being like, yes, I have a body of work. What I find inspiring is her acknowledgement of her own prolific expression. Lena and Taylor's friendship is deeply entwined with the singer's music. After all, Lena was dating Jack Antonoff, Taylor's now go-to collaborator, when they first connected in 2012. A year later, Taylor released her first song with Jack, Sweeter Than Fiction, and later included an ode to the former couple's relationship with 1989's You Are In Love. Taylor explained in 2015 during a visit to Jimmy Kimmel Live. It's a song that I wrote that was like loosely based on, I wrote it with my friend Jack Antonoff, who's dating my friend Lena. Yes, you know. Lena Dunham, yes. And Jack sent me this track to this song. It was just an instrumental track he was working on and immediately I knew what the song needed to be. And I wrote it as kind of a commentary on what their relationship has been like. And so it's actually me looking in and going, like this happened, then that happened, then that happened. And that's how you knew you got, you're in love. As for Lena's own prolific career, the celeb tells The New Yorker that she's no longer attached to Mattel's Polly Pocket movie that was set to star Emily in Paris lead, Lily Collins. She tells the mag, I feel like the next movie I make needs to feel like a movie that I absolutely have to make. No one but me could make it. And I did think other people could make Polly Pocket.